professional kickboxer and the other, both really good guys, and it's two good gyms, two young prospects going against each other. This is shaping up to be a really good fight. Good adding up the family tree there, Callum. I wouldn't have added that together. <laughs> well done. But two and two together. <laughs> so this is three three minute rounds of full MMA rules at the amateur level. Which, by the way, doesn't take much away from the approach. Slightly bigger gloves and no leg locks. That's yep. it. He's exchanging early. Oh, he's pulled guard. Yep, pulled guard. Interesting. Away. Well, it does come from a good jiu-jitsu uh, background. Yeah, yeah, for Kaiser. sure. Interesting to see what he's doing here, going on that single. Oh, right, nice, great That's change of position right, yeah. there. Really good change of position. You actually see more guys pulling guard in MMA, in MMA now than yeah, you yeah. expect. Ryan Hall and, yeah. and whatnot, Chase Hooper. Maybe two bad examples, both got you know yeah, beaten in the last outings, but it's something that's becoming slightly more accepted. Kyle worked well there against him with the, uh, the, the fence, sorry, to get his position back up. Oh, oh nice, nice overhand right. right. Yep, there's a really nice overhand right. Out. Oh, yep. lovely, lovely low kick. Low kick. He's got a nice control style. He's got a lovely snappy jab there, Kyle. I think Another he can really Nice check, yep. though. That was a nice check. Yep. As you were saying with, uh, obviously, last time for Lewis, I think he needs to be, you know, really confident in his He's ability to throw. Yep. Yep. Oh, for sure. As you Especially see. against somebody that's got maybe the, you know, the more experience in terms of the background with the, the striking. Yeah. And looking to be a bit more explosive yeah, as well so yeah. far. Knee positions there. Nice knee to the body. Yeah. It's great nice to job. see young uh, MMA now, the the level that kids are coming through at, you know, oh. it's been so concise and so mature with their performances. Honestly, I'm glad I'm not fighting anymore. Yeah, Thinking there's a about lot of dangerous some of the kids, kids out there. To, yeah. when, when they end up, you know, in their early 20s, like these kids keep training, nice you know, consistently. Right. They could be two or three years away from going pro, they're pro in the, the 21 years old. Of course. You know, like yeah, yeah. it's... it's not a big ask. Really nice catch to left hook there. I was impressed. As we can see, it looks like Lewis really wants to grapple. Is he going to kick that back leg out? It's really his only option. Oh, nice. We'll switch to the low single. Go for the body lock now. Oh, he might get the back here. But you know what? It's 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 shown that uh, Kyle has clearly been working a lot of cage get-ups. Yeah, he's, he's taken that grappling. strong wizard there. But right into the middle, he's been able to get up every time he's been taken down. It looks like here he might get up as well. As we can see. Yeah, back up to his feet. Big knee there. He's not faced by uh, by losers will to, kind of turn. to grapple a lot. Yeah. Which is nice to see. Big knee. Lewis scored a well with a tight clinch there. Oh! oh. Yeah, I, think, I think Kyle dropped him yeah. there. Clipped him. Needs to cover up. This is where you need to stay calm. Yeah. You when can, someone's you up can. on an underhook, it's very hard to TKO someone. I made that mistake in one of my fights. Yeah. And blew myself out and ended up losing by a decision. So it's, that's um, an experience thing. Oh, for sure. And the guys in the corner will be making sure that he's not overexerting anyone that he needs to. He's got a deep half here. Deep half guard. He's maybe looking for a way to first round. That's a good first round. I'm going to give that to Kyle. Um, to Kyle. Yeah, he's, got, uh, he's striking on the outside was a yeah. bit more concise. A lot of scrambling there from Lewis, but very good first round for both guys. Yeah. Both young guys, so I imagine they're going to be, you know, super fit and healthy. I'm interested to see now how the conditioning comes into play. Um, it's going to show who is best prepared. Both guys come from no-nonsense gyms. Um, with a lot of experience, so I'm interested to see now who's um, who's put the work in, who's got the best gas tank, and who's really going to take it and be able to hold that pace uh, moving into this, this next round. Yeah, to kind of see what the corners will look to do, uh, switching up and going through. <laughs> Referee getting us ready for a second round, just about to kick off. Back to the feeling out process. I'd like to see just a little bit more. That old confidence from us, yeah. yeah. He's shooting from very far away. Yeah. Very, very far away. 
and I think it's more experience. Um, guys, guys will take advantage of that. Yeah, agreed. Especially when you look, if you're looking to try and progress the pro game, shoot from that far away, it's a knee to the head. Yeah, you know, yeah, 100%. some amateur promotions are allowing you to knee to the head from day one. I've, I, when I was yep. fighting, you know, um, amateur rules and some other promotions, they're allowed to knee to the head. So yeah, you're you getting watch snapped down there and, and taken into a bad position. Yeah, you well. might be getting guillotined for yep. fighting in a little crap, though, you know. Oh, he's looking here. for. It looks like a, a modified guillotine. He's yep. going almost a dark grip. I can't see that being finished, to no. be honest. His arm, he actually needs to have his arm almost in front of him. He needs to have Kyle's arm in front. The fact that Kyle's arm's kind of round. Now, this is a slightly more dangerous position. I can't imagine much is going to happen here. He really needs. It's almost like yeah, a dark. It's, it's just with the one arm he's got. Yeah. yeah. He's in that deep half guard again now, what's he going to do? He's going into the kind of leg lock position here. No heel hooks allowed in this, we can't straight ankle lock, we can knee bar. We can't go into any of the, the heel hook positions here, toe holds. So it's not really a huge amount you can do from that. I think Kyle needs to watch stepping in too heavy. Yeah. He's been clasped again here. Um, yeah, he's kind of gave away the work that he's just done. Yes, exactly. He's been able. The, the biggest thing about wrestling is in MMA is bringing the person's knees together. He's yeah. almost given that opportunity there just by being too gallus going in there. He's obviously an aggressive fight, he wants to get on top and strike. He needs to make sure he's not sacrificing his own position in order to do he's so. He's kind of gave up that top position now, um, when he could have just taken a step back. And, but then again, that's experience that tells in the exactly, positions. Exactly, exactly. This is stuff to be home and work on in the gym. At the end of the day, these are young guys. Long careers ahead of them, should yeah. they want them. And it's, it's all a little bit of a, a lesson every time you come and step in the cage. I've been impressed uh, very much by Kyle's uh, cage work. It's been excellent. Being a striker, you need to do that. Yeah, you need to do that because you're going to get pinned up against the fence, people shooting on you all the time. Nice, um, what you call it, left, left straight there, yep. from Lewis. Yeah, he's finding the timing on that. He's getting angry now. Yeah. Sometimes that's what it takes, a couple of punches in the face and that kind of allows you to set in and, and give back. He's concise with that overhand right look um, from Kyle. Yeah, it's nice. He's almost actually fading out the jab at the same time. He's fading yeah, out the opponent's jab, the catching that over the top. It's a really nice shot. Oh, he's going find himself in the mount, but not much time to go. If I'm him, I'm not going for a choke here. I'm just trying to hit as yeah. much as possible. Score as much as possible. There he is with big shots. Excellent second round. Yeah, that was a really good second round. I'm going to give that to Kyle again. Yeah. Personally, I think so. Yeah. I think Lewis did do a lot of good takedown work there, but the, the cage control... Uh, the active on the bottom, but not chasing any submissions yep. or striking enough for yep. But you never know how the judges might see it. We're here commentating, we may be biased sure. to some degree, so the judges could may have scored that on the takedown effectiveness of to, um, to Lewis. So, just seeing what, what goes on now as we move forward. See, just judging it here, I think Kyle's got a little bit more in the tank. Yeah. From what I can see, we're whether just looking at body um, language. Whether it is just faking the body language or, you know. I'd like to see Kyle keep a bit more distance actually. Yeah. Be able to run Straight. out of these takedown attempts Ooh. and be able to snap in like we've just seen there with nice the Nice body kite, I like the fact that, that Lewis has kind of dropped into Southpaw. It's worked well for him, he's got a few, a few shots here. Stick to the basics. Work it well, that was a nice double leg. This fight already gives both guys a lot to work on. A lot, yeah. Like, yeah. We, we Not can in a bad way. No, it's, and it's great, it's yeah. actually what you want as an yeah. amateur. If these kids were coming in here at this age, we were seeing these fights and going, oh, they've got nothing to work on, I would be worried. Yeah, definitely. You know? That's what you want, it gives this, this tape, when you get tape from each of your fights, you're able to go back and really learn and improve and see what mistakes you've made. Lewis here in the mount position, I don't know why Kyle, Kyle was holding on to almost wizard it. Oh, it's a real big yeah, shot. That was, that was a real big shot. Real big shot. Let's take the Lewis back. Both the back hooks up, yeah. here. Is he going to oh. go to the body triangle? Is oh that, my god, the really good is in. That's very tight. This could be the end of this fight. That choke is in. 
Oh, hands. No, he's down. released it, yeah. If he goes for a gable grip here yep. and takes that and pulls that back instead of going for the classic RNC grip, um, he could be he could be in with a submission, but this is this is close. But that 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 was good for a very young fighter to stay relaxed in that position. Yeah, yeah, it's very you know, you easy pull, to panic. Pull the head, the, the arm off the top of your yep. head, you bring it down. It's classic real naked choke, but it's not an escape. No. As you can see, the most important bit is being under the chin. He's yeah. still under the chin here. And he's stopping the grip. So the position, the, the finish has been oh now he's yeah, out, he's but up. you still have that risk of having that of under course. the neck. And there's guys out there can finish one arm real naked. Yeah. Don't imagine there's many 18 year olds that can, but the way MMA is progressing these days. Big shots here. Now if I'm if I'm loose, I'm yeah, thinking about I need a finish. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. You might be looking at maybe some judges scoring that second round time, but if I'm him, I'm thinking I need to get a finish. I need to be out and really dominant. He needs to find a way up. Back oh, whoa! Nice. Did not expect that. Dropped on the guillotine and on the guillotine. <sighs> See, this face pretty nuts. Yeah, yeah. It's starting to heat up now. Ah! It's in those positions though where Lewis really needs to step back. Oh, that was nice. Oh. This is where the tiredness comes in. The hands drop a wee bit. Especially with the four inch gloves on. Short start to, to find their way through. He's actually sixes. Oh, so many girls are sixes. Not much better, yep. mind you. You used to fight in eights, but. Yep. Crazy, like a minute ago, we were seeing someone nearly get finished with a real naked choke. Yeah. Now the boy's on top position, landing strikes. Ten seconds left of this round. We're going to see this fight go to the judges' scorecards. Yeah, for Kyle, it's just a uh, big shots on top. By the way, impression now. Yeah. Great that fight. was a great fight. Really, really good fight. It'd be interesting just to see how the, the judges really look at this yeah. now. I'm going to say it's two rounds to Kyle. Um, at least. I'm with you on at that, least, yeah. Um, I can't see it being, being any other way, personally. Um, but, but that was a, a really good fight. And do you know what? See, even, see, even if it does go Kyle's way and it is a second loss uh, on losing record, it's not a bad loss. No. It's amateur as yeah. well. It's amateur as well. Uh, at the end of the day, you would rather have a loss. You can't tell the kid that's been training. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But if you're planning on going pro, the yeah. amateur record is all about experience. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And both guys, whoever whoever wins here, that that, that it's a loss that's really well well earned. Just to remind everyone watching this before we cut a commentary, 17 and 18 years old. Yeah, these two scary. Guys. It's crazy. Amazing Thank to see where the sport's going to be. After three hard fought rounds, your winner in the red corner. 